In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 28, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB begins after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Cincinnati Reds vs. Pittsburgh Pirates The Cincinnati Reds wrap up a three-game series Wednesday afternoon against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Both of these teams are in the basement of the National League Central with the Reds in fourth place and the Pirates in fifth place. The Pirates lead the season series 10-7. The Reds are 7-23 in their last 30 Wednesday games and 3-13 in their last 16 versus the National League Central. Cincinnati is 0-4 in their last four in game three of a series. Meanwhile, the Pirates are 15-41 in the last 56 Wednesday games and 21 to 54 in their last 75 in game three of a series. Pittsburgh is four to 15 in their last 19 at home. The Pirates have lost nine of their last 11 games and five of their last seven home games. Even though they aren't very good offensively, they are playing well during their slump, scoring 17 runs in their last three games. Unfortunately for them, they won't score a lot of runs against the Reds because they have struggled against right-handers and Sessa has done a good job on the mound in recent starts, giving up eight runs in his last three starts. He gave up three runs in his last three road starts and won't have trouble keeping their offense in check. The Reds have also struggled in recent games, and they are also playing well offensively, scoring 12 runs in their last three games. Expect them to play well in this game because Wilson has been terrible on the mound, giving up at least three runs in seven of his last eight starts. He gave up 10 runs in three starts against the Reds this season and will have a hard time slowing them down. So the Cincinnati Reds' money line is our full game side pick. Neither starting pitcher has been particularly solid, with Bryce Wilson sporting a miserable 5.95 earned run average for Pittsburgh and Lewis Sessa posting a 4.78 earned run average for the Reds. Both lineups should have success at the plate early in this game, and things should only get easier as the game goes on as these teams have two of the worst bullpens in the league. In fact, the Cincinnati bullpen ranks 28th in earned run average and 30th in FIP, while the Pittsburgh bullpen ranks 30th in earned run average and 26th in FIP. With two shaky starting pitchers and two weak bullpens, there is nothing about this matchup that suggests a pitcher's duel is in store. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Tampa Bay Rays vs. Cleveland Guardians This Wednesday, the Tampa Bay Rays and the Cleveland Guardians will play the second game of this three-game series. The first pitch will be thrown out inside progressive field. The last time that these two teams matched up, the Guardians ended up stealing two of three games. The Tampa Bay Rays are coming into this one after splitting their previous four-game series with the Toronto Blue Jays. The Rays struggled at the plate to finish the series, though they only scored two combined runs in the final two games. The Cleveland Guardians are entering this one after sweeping the Texas Rangers in a three-game series. They looked great on the mound and at the plate as they were getting the job done as a team. They also scored 10 runs in the final game. Tampa Bay is 6-2 in their last eight game twos of a series and 15-7 in their last 22 Wednesday games. The under is 3-0-2 in Tampa Bay's last five Wednesday games. Cleveland is 6-0 in their last six game twos of a series and 18-4 in their last 22 games. The under is 9-2 in Cleveland's last 11 game twos of a series. Tampa Bay is 18-5 in these two teams' last 23 head-to-head -head meetings. The Cleveland Guardians have already clinched the American League Central but will not let off the throttle during the final week of the regular season. Cleveland has won 18 of his last 21 overall and the Guardians have won 13 of the last 16 when facing a right-handed starting pitcher. Tampa Bay Rays starter Tyler Glasnow will be making his season debut and will likely not see that much time on the mound. Tampa Bay has lost five of the last seven played on the road and face a tough Tristan McKenzie on the mound. 
Cleveland has won each of the right-handers' last four starts, and over that stretch, McKenzie has allowed only seven earned runs in 27 two-third innings. McKenzie has been working deep into games lately. Over his last three starts, he's got 22 combined innings with five earned, going seven frames or more in each. He should be able to put up another lengthy start here. As for Glasno, it'll be interesting to see him on the mound again. Glasno will probably only be in there for 45 pitches or so, however, it'll be mostly a relief game. Should be fun. So the Cleveland Guardians' money line is our full game side pick. Both of these teams are looking to make the postseason, and their bats have been decent all season. I also see the Guardians teeing off on the Rays. They have the 10th highest overall team batting average, and they have been playing some great baseball over the past few weeks. They will keep rolling and challenge Glasno in this game. He is yet to start a game in 2022, as this will be his first chance. He will give up some contact and some runs, as I see him making a few mistakes. The Rays will also score a few in this game. McKenzie hasn't been perfect this season, and he tends to leave the ball all over the middle of the plate. This total is extremely low and I just don't see either starting pitcher shutting out their opponent in this game. Both teams will have success at the plate at different parts of this game and the total will go over the number. This total is too low. Both starting pitchers will make mistakes and the total will go past the number. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Kansas City Royals vs. Detroit Tigers This Wednesday, the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers will play Game 2 of this three-game series. The first pitch will be thrown out inside Comerica Park. The last time that these two teams matched up, the Tigers ended up stealing two of three games. The Kansas City Royals are coming into this one after winning their previous series against the Seattle Mariners. The Royals looked strong at the dish throughout the series as they scored 13 runs in the final game. They will be looking to carry that momentum over into this game. The Detroit Tigers are entering this one after sweeping the Chicago White Sox. They looked incredible on the mound as they were very tough to score on. They held Chicago to just one run scored in the final game. They will also be looking to stay hot in this one. The Royals are 17-35 in their last 52 road games and 18-39 in the last 57 in Game 2 of a series. The under is 4-0 in Kansas City's last four Wednesday games. Meanwhile, the Tigers are 11-25 in the last 36 versus the American League Central and 7-19 in their last 26 at home. Detroit is 2-6 in their last eight Wednesday games. The Guardians clinched the American League Central over the weekend as a team that was projected to be at the bottom of the division. While they exceeded expectations, these teams have not. Outside of the A's, they've been the worst two teams in the American League. While that may not make this the marquee matchup of the week, someone has to win the game. Both teams have been wildly inconsistent, which is why there is no significant favorite in this matchup. That doesn't make it any easier to predict this game, but the Tigers should be able to pull out a close one at home. They should be able to do so against Royals starter Daniel Lynch and their dreadful bullpen. These teams have already met quite often this month, and Lynch was on the mound for two of those games. The Royals lost both of them, largely due to his poor outings. Lynch allowed 10 runs and 15 hits in 8.2 innings across those two starts. Even if the lefty has a better performance on Wednesday, the Royals still have the league's third worst relief staff coming in behind him. That's one area in which the Tigers have had the advantage over most teams this season. They're no longer in the top five, but a top 10 bullpen can support starter Matt Manning. He won his most recent start over the Royals and was able to pitch 6.1 innings in the process. Detroit hasn't been great to support this season, but neither has Kansas City. With superior pitching and home field advantage, the Tigers can take this game. So the Detroit Tigers money line is our full game side pick. I understand that these offenses have struggled this season, but both of these teams are coming into this one after a series win. They look great at the dish in their last series and I see that trend continuing. I'm not a huge fan of either starting pitcher as well. The Royals will be starting Daniel Lynch on the mound as has continued to struggle this season. He has a 5.06 earned run average and he is 4-11 to this season. He will lead the ball over the middle of the plate and the Tigers will take it advantage. I see Manning giving up a few runs in this one as well. He looked horrible in his last start and he is only 1-2 at home this season. The Royals are scoring the 23rd most runs per game and they have the 14th highest overall team batting average. They will get to Manning early. I'm not impressed by either starting pitcher and both teams look great at the dish in their previous series. They will carry that momentum over into this game and the score will go past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video.
whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.